Hi guys, this is Randy from Lunar Media. In this episode, we are going to take a look at how to import Kitbash 3D kits in ZBrush and convert it into a multi-mesh brush. Before anything else, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video so I can continue adding more contents to the channel. Two years ago, I did a video tutorial on how to create detailed 3D models using Kitbash. So if you don't have an idea on what is kit bashing, kindly check out my video on how to start kit bashing in ZBrush. I added the links below so check them out. So basically, I created this tutorial for 3D artists who likes to utilize the Kitbash 3D kits in ZBrush. Kitbash 3D is a company that sells high quality Kitbash kits that are designed by professional artists. Don't forget to check their website at kitbash3d.com. Kitbash 3D kits are high quality and supports most of 3D softwares in the market, but for ZBrush, it requires a bit of tweaking for it to work flawlessly. The issue is that when I import various kits in ZBrush, not all of them gets imported without errors. Some of them gets distorted to the point that it's not usable. One of the most common errors is that some of the kits contains non-standard polygons which means that there are more than 4 sides. So ZBrush will ask you if you want to split the model into triangles or quad triangles. I usually choose quads and triangles and sometimes this works and even if ZBrush deletes some vertices that are unused, the changes are not visible on the model. But if ever deleting vertices doesn't work and distorts your kits, this is the tutorial that you've all been waiting for. To fix this problem, we need to use Autodesk Maya wherein we will import our kits and clean them up before importing to ZBrush. But first, I will show you how the kits with error looks like in ZBrush. So I have here a sample 3D model that was extracted from Kitbash 3D Steampunk Kit. We will now import the OBJ file into ZBrush. Next, we will be prompted to split the model into quads and triangles or triangles only. So we will choose quads. ZBrush will then prompt us to delete unused vertices and just click OK. We will now drag out the model in ZBrush and proceed to edit mode to check the mesh. So as you can see, the model looks fine from afar. But since we chose quads and triangles, Faces that has more than 4 sides will most likely be deleted. So if we take a closer look, the model has some holes in it because there are faces that most likely to have more than 4 sides. This issue is just fine if you just want a reference mesh to paint over, but if you want to use Kisha to render the models and add lighting to your scene, these holes might be a problem. Unless you're going for a post-apocalyptic scene, then I guess it's fine. So to fix this issue, we are going to import the mesh in Autodesk Maya. Once you have imported the model Maya, select Mesh Menu and under Mesh Menu, click on Clean Up. So these are the settings under the Clean Up tab. Under Operation, click on Clean Up Matching Polygon. Under Scope, click on Apply to Selected Object and keep Construction History. Under Fixed Tessellation, choose Faces with more than 4 sides. This operation will clean your mess of faces with more than 4 sides. After that, you can now export the selection as OBJ. We now import the model back to ZBrush. If you haven't noticed, ZBrush didn't prompt us if we want to split the mesh into quads and triangles. If you didn't get prompted, that means the cleanup was successful. You will still be prompted if you want to delete some unused vertices, but not all the time. Just click OK and proceed. Now you can take a closer look at your model and check if the holes are still there. As you can see, there are no visible holes or any weird shapes around our model. So that's it for our tutorial on how to utilize Kitbash 3D kits and other kits that has more than 4 sides error on import. Sorry for the long break, I was kinda busy with freelance, 
job as a graphic artist and I'm so glad to be back here at YouTube. I hope you enjoyed the video and help you a lot with your kit bash workflow. Like and subscribe and leave your comments down below. That's it for today and I'll see you guys next time.